if I'm naked? What if I'm sleeping? Hmm? What if I'm, I'm married and with my husband? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my pet peeves. I have a million and thousand and billions of pet peeves, but these are the ones I could remember and I just had to, had, them, had to write them down on my other phone so I don't forget. But these are like my top 10 or so. The first one is, <sighs> I hate sweaty armpits. You know that moment when you just, you're wearing like a shirt and then you raise your hands up and I'm like, I don't know, it just makes me feel, it just, uh, it gives me chills. I don't really like it. So if you have a problem with sweaty armpits, I would suggest you wear like one layer in before you wear like the normal shirt because the first layer sucks out the sweat. I know it's normal for people to sweat. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it gives me chills. It's something I don't personally like. So, yes. The second one is eating with, oh, you know, you know that moment when you're eating, people just eat like, mm, delicious, mm, so delicious, hi, hi. My brother does that thing a lot and he does it to annoy me. He does it to get on my nerves. That thing, I mean, I can throw something at you at that point because it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't irritate me. It makes me uncomfortable. It just makes me feel like I'm going to explode. I don't like it. The fact that that is not table manners, especially when you're doing it in front of people. It's very disgusting. It's like I can't concentrate on my own food. I'm hearing you chew every single thing. Mm, hey, Jesus. We're not eating the food together, please. Respect yourself. Eat your food like a human being. I don't want to be hearing the nonsense. Okay? Thank you. The third one is going to be bushy armpits. I mean. <laughs> yes, a bushy armpits. I wouldn't say, I don't know, but I think some girls actually live um, hair in their armpits to me it's just disgusting you know people say this is a man's world but if a lady should shave her pits then the man should shave the pits my husband is definitely gonna have empty he has to be empty I mean I know people have like dark circles around their armpits which is kind of normal because you know people use shaving sticks and some of these things leave side effects i personally kind of have a dark armpit but i mean it's hairless hair is different from color eh please because when you leave the hair and then you sweat it mixes with the cologne and then it starts to stink oh i think that's like one of my what is that another one so i'll just make them together so I would say, let this place be fresh. Eh? You see a guy who open his armpits, you will see hair. I mean, do you want to play? Do you want to do shuku and nembes? Or you want to do singles? I mean, we, I can do some garden. Yo, I can't even do anything. It should be hair, hair, hairless. Okay. I'm not. I'm not talking for everybody. I'm just saying how I like it, how I think it should be. I mean, some people have different tastes. Some women like their husbands having, you know, hair that I'm paid just a little stuff, but, you know, I don't know. I just kind of feel somehow about it, you know? Okay. Thank you. The next one is going to be <sighs> touching me with your feet. Please don't. Don't. Okay. Okay. I don't even know how to start. Some people just do it out of, it's not, it's not a big deal. I do not like when people touch me with their fits. I don't know where your 
if it has been, I don't know where you've been, I don't know, you know, it's just, you know, kind of, kind of feeling, yes, that's how they feel, when people touch me with that, kids, don't do that, please, 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 do not do that, okay, mm -hmm. so, the video calling me, I will make this clear. Please do not video call me. If I don't flow with you, if we're not good, don't try it. Because I mean, people on Instagram, you just wake up in the morning and start calling somebody you don't know. Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? Oh, are you mad? No, you have to be mad. Because, hmm, I don't know you for... I don't know your mommy or your daddy. I don't even I don't even know what your name is. And then you wake up and you think you can just grab your phone and call me, video call. What if I'm naked? What if I'm sleeping? Hmm? What if I'm I'm married and with my husband? Eh? I'm talking to you. Yes, you. 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 Please do not video call me without my permission okay namaste next one is washing pots oh my god I, I i hope i'm not the only one who hates this you know that moment when you're washing pots and then you start scraping hey jehovah news and also um the other one too is you know when you want to sharpen your knife jesus that sound sends me to space that thing is so uncomfortable it gives me goosebumps it's just not my thing but i'm because my brother also doesn't like that so i'm sure a lot of people too do not like that so i cannot be the only one who did not like that so come 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 i beg don't do it where i am i beg you can wait let me leave or you tell me to leave i will leave don't go and be scratching but me i am okay gracias Another one is when you, you know, when you're oozing of alcohol and you know your breath is just unthinkable. Please don't come and talk to me, eh? Because what there are things I cannot stand talking to another person. One thing is body odor. One thing is mouth odor. I mean, yeah, that's some things. But I would just say this one is very important because. I've had this friend, we were really good back then in university. He was a very good person, but he just had this very bad, nasty odor. You know that moment when you cannot even say, okay, goodbye, ho, go. You gotta go, okay? Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Nah, you cannot hug me because you smell. I don't want to pass out when I'm going to, you know, in the, in the, um, in the process of hugging you, please. And... I don't, I don't think what I did was rude. I actually told him because I'm like, if I'm your friend and I'm not telling you this thing, then I don't think I should be called your friend. I should tell you this thing because I'm sure other people have noticed, but they're just scared of telling you. So I told him and you know what? He changed. He started smelling really good. In fact, I was the one said that I'd be like, ah, ah, come now, let me hold you. Come, let me hold you because you smell really good. That's how it feels when, you know, you smell good. You're more attractive. But when you have that sweaty pits, you have the body odor. Everyone's going to be telling you, oh, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Eh? I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. So if everyone is saying, I got to go. See you later. I got to go. See you later. Something is wrong with you. You know, you check your mouth or you check your pits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all. I guess I spoke about smelly people, people that don't take care of the body. I mean, you should use, hold on, one second. I will show you something. I'm coming. Even though you don't have money to buy a good perfume or good cologne, whatever you might call it, please borrow money and buy this. Mm? Choose one. I personally like to use the men because i feel everything made for men lasts longer because you know 
they smell stronger so everything for them is probably made stronger than women's i'm just saying my opinion i don't know if that's really how it is or you know the science behind it but please i use this because it lasts it lasts longer than me you know you can use this for two days you don't have to you know use something else or you don't have to use it again i'm just saying that every human being every adolescent every adult should own at least one of these you cannot be smelling and making other people feel uncomfortable i mean i i know when i'm smelling i don't smell though you know mm -hmm. i know but we're humans you will know when you're beginning to smell funny when it's time to take a shower and when it's time to you know just dry yourself in shower if that's another way i can put it so you will not tell me that you can't afford this but you will slide into my dm and you'll be telling me nonsense don't tell me nonsense if you're a club goer party goer have these because you're not gonna be sweating i mean if you leave your house you might be smelling all bougie and stuff you know everything is on flick but two hours into the dance hall you're already smelling like dustbin please stay away from me if you come to me and you wanna dance and i say i gotta go know that you are what you are smelling i will say it again if you want to dance with someone or you want to talk with someone and they say i gotta go or i have a call or my mom is calling me or my cat is sick or my bed just dumped ah just know that you are smelling check yourself something is wrong with you on that note i'm gonna end this video because i can't remember my other pet peeves well i hope everyone is staying safe at home you know everywhere all home i'm home i'm washing my hands i'm sanitizing them i'm social distancing myself and i am most importantly i am staying safe in my house of course so please stay safe guys and i will see you in my next video bye, -bye.